Welcome to the last part of our Photoshop section. We are going to look at just finalizing our mock-up design so that we can start importing it into uh, Flash. So where we stand now, we should each have a design of a profile page. This profile page, we're going to um, animate it in Flash, just minimally, just to get some basic interaction so that we can eventually create an app. So I'm happy with the way this looks. I'm going to just now go into my layers and make sure I am only have layers that I need. So I only have five layers. I don't want to have too, too many layers um, because I want to keep this clean. So I'm going to rename my layers properly. I have my title. I have my silhouette. I have my shadow. I'm just going to rename that shadow. I have my gradient here and my background. In this case, I'm just going to merge the two. I don't need these as separate layers. They can be one. I'm happy with the way the design is. So I'm going to select I'm going to select the first layer, hold shift, select the second layer so that they're both highlighted. I'm going to right click and go merge layers. That means that I essentially put two layers into one. They're merged. I'm going to rename it BG for background. I'm just going to hit save as and I'm going to name this mockup and I'm going to save it as a Photoshop document. So PSD. Hit save. There we go. I have that file. So now that we have that, I'm going to create a little bit more of an intro for my app. This is how I'm going to go about it. I'm going to select all these layers and right at the bottom here, I have the ability to create a folder. This I'm going to make I'm going to call page 1. So now I have a folder in Photoshop. If I hold shift and I select all my layers and I drag it into that folder, I now have a cleaner organized uh, layers. I'm going to do that one more time. I'm going to create one more new folder and I'm going to call this intro. So this is going to be my intro screen for my app and then it's going to go once I click a button into the first page of my application which is this. If I toggle open, whenever I say toggle open, it means to hit these arrows and it's going to give you, it's going to reveal everything within that layer. I'm going to select my background and I'm going to drag it over the new layer icon, which is right next to the garbage, which is can be kind of dangerous sometimes because you don't want to junk something when you're trying to duplicate it. But you could always edit undo, which is control Z. So if I drag it over and I let go, it's going to create a copy of my background. I'm going to bring that background into my intro folder. And then now I'm just going to hide my page one. Why I did that is because I'm happy with page one, it's done. I'm now going to edit um, within my intro. So this is how I'm going to go about it. I'm just going to select my background and I'm going to drag it up. I'm going to hide my... my. Um... So I'm going to drag it to about there. Now on a new layer, I'm going to take my lasso tool and I'm just going to draw the perimeter of my new layer because I'm just going to fill that with black. I'm going to go edit fill black and then I'm going to go select deselect so now I have the background 
from a certain point of view. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to eventually drag this down. You'll see. So I want to place my avatar icon right here in the center of my photo film so that it's it's a nice intro you know it just kind of starts me off with the branding for my design so i'm going to go to illustrator and here's my avatar that you guys already created for me i just picked my favorite number which is five i'm just going to copy so i'm going to go edit copy or control c and then i'm going to go edit in Photoshop so I was just in Illustrator now I'm in Photoshop and I'm gonna go paste it's gonna ask me if how I want to paste this if I say smart object that means that it re remains vector not editable but it remains a vector if I go pixels it does exactly that it uh, rasterizes the graphics so that it's not vector anymore it's pixels I can make it a path, which is kind of like a mask, and a shape layer, which is also where I can use my blending options. These are not as commonly used, so I'm not going to look at them, but really it just allows you to use the blending modes a little easier. Um, instead of, like if I had a design with a lot of colors and I went pixels, my blending modes would be a lot different than if I said a shape layer, because all my pixels will be one color, so then I could mass things rewatch the shadow and highlights video if that confuses you so i'm gonna say smart object i'm gonna hit okay what it does is it places that icon in the middle of my stage or in the middle of my photo film and right here it says vector smart object it, it has an x over it so that means it's vector so i'm gonna place it so now i have my letter five it's way too hard to see so I'm just going to double click on it and bring up my layer styles like we're familiar with. And I might just put another color over it. Might just go with like something like that. Maybe a little earthy. Put a gradient. Well, that's why it's not working. I don't want an inner glow. I want an outer glow. Sorry. I'm going to redo that. Select the outer glow. Maybe increase the size. So I'm going to try something like that. I'm going to get a little creative. So I'm going to hit OK. I have my outer glow. You'll see where I'm going. So now I want to, um, I'm going to make this my first button. So I need to have kind of like um, an overstate. So when I hover over, my button and when I press it so I'm gonna create within my intro three versions of this button so this first version is gonna be just my animation I'm gonna click on this layer drag it to a new layer and I'm gonna double click first I'm gonna hide that layer that layer and now I'm gonna double click I'm gonna make this I'm gonna get rid of the outer glow and I might put a stroke on it, uh, something like that. So let's see. So I have, I'm just going to bring the stroke down a bit. So I'm going to have that version of my button. I have that version. And then my last the state which is called I'm going to double click this is going to be when someone presses on the button I'm going to bevel it really in depth and I'm going to make it go maybe something like that so when someone clicks on the button it's just going to um, sink down a bit so I have three versions of my button these graphics are still vector. You can tell they're vector because there's a little icon on the bottom right corner. I want to make these. Um, I want to make these raster. Now that my design is good, I don't really need vector detail in this case because it just doesn't 
help me out that much. I'm just gonna just sec. I'm just gonna. So if I click on a layer, I can hold shift and select them all. I can also hold control and select individual ones in case they're not all within a line. So I'll select the three vector graphics. I'm gonna right click and go raster layer. This is just going to flatten these graphics so that I have no surprises when I import them into Flash. It just makes it a um, more of a streamline. I'm going to rename these uh, layers. My first layer, I'm going to rename down. My next layer, I'm going to name normal. normal. And the last layer, I'm going to name over.